Hey guys, it's Lauren here. So I've been traveling a lot recently. I've been backpacking for two months in Europe twice. I got back from London just recently and I'm going back again in August for a music festival. So I know planning a trip can be stressful and scary, especially if this is the first time you're planning one yourself. So I thought I'd share with you guys a few of the guidelines I follow when I'm planning my trips in hopes to help you guys out a little bit. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is decide where you want to go and for how long. Figure out if you want to go on a shorter trip that's maybe one or two weeks or a longer one that's a month or two. It's really up to you, but you need to decide this before you start planning anything else. To decide where you want to go, create a list of cities and the reasons why you want to go there. It might be a historic site or an event like a music festival, which is why I've been doing a lot of traveling recently. Creating a list and the reasons why you want to visit those places will help you figure out which cities are more important to you in case you need to cut a few out. If you're planning on going on a shorter trip, I suggest picking out one or two places that are sort of close together. You don't want to be wasting your time traveling from one city to another. You want to be enjoying yourself. After all, you're on vacation. If you're taking a longer trip, you don't necessarily need to pick cities that are close together because you do have days that you can use as travel days. But again, it's up to you guys. Once you've picked out where you want to go, decide how long you want to spend in each place. If you're switching cities, then I suggest adding an extra day in between just for a travel day. That way you have the total of days added up and then you can start finding your flight. Trips can be super expensive and it's really important that you budget within your means and start saving right away for it. You want to figure out how much things will cost, like creating a budget for your flight, hotel costs per night, any events you want to go to, and transportation. But of course, don't forget spending money and money for food. Those can be easily forgotten. Once you've figured out how much things will be, you want to get a total and start saving. The best way to do this is to figure out how many paychecks you have before you leave and divide that up by the total number. That way you will know how much to put away every time you get paid. If the amount of money you're putting away per paycheck isn't reasonable to you, then what you want to do is go back into your budget and adjust. You want to make sure that you can save, but still also live. Saving and budgeting is so important when you want to go on a trip. You want to make sure everything is paid for before you leave just so you aren't stressing out about money and how you're going to pay for the trip when you come back. I cannot stress how important saving and budgeting is. Once you have enough money saved up, the next thing you want to do is book your flight. First, you want to decide what time of year you want to go and then start looking. Make sure you're flexible with your travel plans. This is really important because sometimes a flight that leaves on a certain day can be more expensive than a flight that leaves two days earlier, for example. Make sure you're flexible so you can get a cheaper flight. When looking for flights, what you want to do is search all the different travel sites. If that's too much for you, then there are sites like Kayak that takes all the websites and finds the cheapest price for you. That way you aren't overpaying for a flight. So make sure you stick to your budget. You don't want to be overpaying for a flight and having to take money away from something else. And the most important tip is do not buy the first flight you see. Sometimes flights will go down in price and you can save hundreds of dollars. So just wait and keep your eye on it. Once you have your flight book, the next thing you want to do is start organizing your trip. The easiest way to do this is to create a spreadsheet on your computer. It sounds really complicated, but trust me, it is super easy and it will help you in the long run. Just list all the dates that you'll be traveling and divide it up by the cities that you'll be visiting and the amount of time you decide to stay there. And make sure you do add travel days in between. Those travel days are important to have. When traveling, you take so many different types of transportation. So if you are switching cities, write down what type you are taking. It might be a plane or train or anything else. Just write it down so you don't forget. Once you are done all of that, go through your travel plans and double check it, even triple check it. You want to make sure it is perfect. You need to be happy with it because this is your trip. And the last thing you want to do is organize any tickets or information you're taking with you. You want to put it in a folder, kind of like this one, and divide it up into categories like hotels, transportation, and tickets. This way, everything is where it needs to be and you have easy access to it. Once you have your flight and your trip is all organized, the next thing you want to do is book any hotels or hostels you'll be staying at. Create a budget of how much you want to spend per night at a hotel or hostel. Then start looking within that range. It's okay to go a little bit over it because sometimes prices do drop or there might be a discount if you stay a certain time. Make sure you have two or three options picked out because believe it or not, hotels do sell out. So you just want to make sure you have those options available in case that happens. You. When deciding where to stay, look at the customer reviews, but of course, watch out for fakes. These reviews will help you decide if this place is right for you. If all the reviews are bad, then maybe you should look at something else. The last thing you want to do is look at the map and see where the hotel is located. Make sure you're picking something that's close to the things that you want to do. You don't want to be wasting your days just because you picked a hotel that's far away. 
When picking a hotel, you want to make sure that you are extremely comfortable and feel safe. Once you've picked out where you're going and when you're going to be there, you want to start doing your research of what you want to do. Look for things that are happening when you're there. There might be a certain event going on. There might be an outdoor music festival or an art exhibit that you want to go to. Just do your research. Find out what the city is known for and any historic sites it has to offer. If you aren't sure about what you want to do, then go on a tour. This is the best way to see the city as we often go to the historic sites and tourist areas. If you're like me and love bands and shows, then maybe see if there's a concert you want to go to and have a fun night out. Most importantly though, make sure you aren't over planning any activities you want to do. You want to make sure you have fun and take the time to explore the city yourself. Sometimes you come across incredible things that you might have not seen. Once it starts getting closer to your trip, you want to start thinking about packing. Make sure you do not overpack because you are able to go to laundry places and clean your clothes. The easiest way to do this is to determine how many outfits you'll need and bring in one or two extra. Try to create as many outfits as you can with as little items as possible. You don't want to be bringing too much with you. Make sure you do bring clothes for both cold and hot weather. You never know what the weather is going to be like, especially if you've never been to that place before. You just want to be extra prepared and bring clothes for both. And my most important tip when it comes to packing is to pack your clothes in big Ziploc bags. Sometimes it will rain and you'll be walking in the rain with your luggage. You want to make sure that your clothes are protected from any water leaks. Just make sure you lock them up in plastic bags. If you want some more tips on how to pack for a trip, then check out my how to pack video. I'll leave a link to it down below. So those are the guidelines I follow when I'm planning my trip. But there's still a few tips that I want to give you guys. The first thing you want to do before you leave is call your banks to tell them you'll be traveling outside of the country. Sometimes if you don't tell them, they'll stop your bank cards and you don't have any access to your money. So just make sure you call them and give them a travel advisory. Once you decide you want to go on a trip, the first thing you want to do though is make sure your passport and all your travel documents are up to date. Check to see if your passport has expired or is soon to expire. You want to make sure they are all updated so there's no problems at the border. Make sure you do copy any debit, credit cards, or IDs that you're bringing with you. Take a copy with you and leave one at home. Just in case anything gets stolen or lost, you're still able to access your information. Another important thing is to have travel insurance. This can be so overlooked, but sometimes you might get hurt or sick when you're away and you don't want to be left with those huge medical bills. So just make sure you do invest in travel insurance. It's a great thing to have. If you've created a travel plan on a spreadsheet like I do, then make sure you take one with you and leave one with someone else. Let them know when you'll probably be out of communication just so they don't get worried. And lastly, if you're bringing a phone with you, buy a travel plan for it. You don't want to be overcharged for using your cell phone. This is happening to me and it sucks, so just make sure you buy a travel plan. So those are my tips on how to plan a trip. I hope it helps you guys the next time you're planning one. What would your dream vacation be? Leave a comment of what it would be down below. Don't forget to visit my website, livelauren.com, where I post music news daily as well as all my concert photos and videos. And make sure you do subscribe to my channel and like this video. I make a video every Friday. I'll see you guys next week.